Yes, I'm very happy to have an exhibition here in Valencia. Um, I was invited some months ago to, to bring some works that had been previously exhibited in Lisbon over here. But as I explained um, to the organizers, uh, every exhibition is, has to be a new experience, especially made for the space. So I studied very hard. It was impossible to visit, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, to come to Valencia. I studied the plans, the photographs, we had discussions and Zoom calls to try to understand this quite complicated uh, space and to combine the piazza, the plaza, um, the cloisters and the exhibiting space in here. This pleases me very much to be able to push the exhibition in various directions to build a story out of the exhibition. So you see one thing, then another, then each, each thing adds to the other rather than just a, a closed situation. We're standing now in the main, perhaps, part of the exhibition, the interior section that has some works that were previously exhibited in the museum in, in Lisbon. Behind me you can see uh, a kind of painting statue and that all of the works are playing between the idea of drawing painting statues. This is, in some ways, it's a four-sided painting, um, but also it's, it stands in the middle of the room, so it becomes a sculpture. You can experience it by walking around like a film. It unravels and un unrolls as you move around, then you come back to the beginning. And in a similar way, the paintings that you might see over on the wall next to us, these are color field paintings in a sense, but each, uh, each of the figures within it brings a dynamic and a movement and a different color across the field of painting. So I've, I've used these 47 people who I've brought with me to make various possibilities, various types of, of works, both static paintings, moving paintings, sculptures. And out in the plaza, um, it was an opportunity to, to try something new. So I had a project to build some, some drawings that have, are built of straight lines. You see all these drawings are built of curved lines, like much of life is curved, but I've been dealing a lot with architectural drawings, which most of which the lines are straight. And I was thinking, what would happen if I brought this logic to drawing the human figure? I also look a lot at very ancient drawings of humans, you know, from cave walls, from ancient Egyptian friezes, and, and trying to combine this sense of hieroglyphic drawing to, to drawing people. So I thought if I draw people with straight lines, maybe I can build with a straight technology. And I looked at uh, the kind of I-beams that are used to build buildings. You see when a building is being built in your city, you see these structures of I-beams going up very tall against the sky. They create a very interesting kind of dynamic drawing. Later, they cover it with glass and cement. It's not interesting anymore for me. But there is a period there where there is a very three-dimensional dynamic so in the square if you come and see the exhibition you'll see the the art the solution to this question